What's going on, y'all? This is Masterpiece, and yo, it's been a minute since I've dropped a video like this. Right now, I'm gonna talk to you about how, how the stocks are going, because a lot of you guys have been emailing me. I've always said that your portfolio, your, your holdings, which is like what you have invested in what companies and whatever, they will always be going up and down until legalization for Canada, you know? When, when, when Canada legalizes, a lot of things around the world is gonna change. But um, because I'm not familiar with the worldly market, I'm sticking with Canada and the US. There's about four companies, four big companies that you'll always hear about. You know, I, I, I never wanna tell people what to invest in, but the, the few that are on the top are the ones that you want to get your money in now or earlier than later because these people have the money to pay fines. They have the money for expansion. They have the trust and rapport with the government already. They're already supplying uh, the Canadian medical industry with cannabis, biotech companies, fashion, uh, you know, car companies, biofuel, it's, it's all going to be com really affected by the legalization of cannabis because now they can import mass qualities, grow it at high quality standards, and test it. It's not just something to smoke. You know, when I say, yo, invest in cannabis, I'm not just talking about, you know, because people are going to smoke it. We, we, have a, we have a very big country and not a lot of people in it, you know. Uh, California's population is roughly similar to Canada's. You know, I don't know what it is about California. I, I do know what it is about California, but I don't know what it is about California, but it's like everybody just wants to be there and needs to, it feels like they need to be there. That next place for the filming industry is going to be Vancouver. So there's going to be a lot of Vancouver companies that are on the rise. So if you're, if you're thinking about stocks, you know, think Vancouver as well. So Vancouver is basically, you know, BC, British Columbia, for all you Americans out there. Uh, British Columbia is on the west coast of Canada. And they grow massive amounts of, of bud. I mean, you've heard it, BC bud. BC, we have that climate. We got in, we have many, many mountains. We got the, the warm air. Uh, we got the, the winter. We, it cools down. It gets really moist. We have a lot of rainforests up there. A lot of, just a lot of beautiful ecology in, in, in the ecosystem. So, you know, BC companies are going to be supplying a lot of Canada. And one thing that we have to realize is right now it's illegal. I mean, only 28 states have legalized it, and Canada, which is bigger than the United States, not monetarily and, and with, like, per, like, with volume, but, I mean, in terms of growing space, who makes more money? The person buying the pounds of weed, you know, the kilos of weed and, and selling that, or the person running around here and they're selling grams here and there? You know, the person selling the kilos, the pounds, the bigger quantities, the bigger masses, that's how you get the big money, the big returns, okay? And um, those companies that have that big infrastructure, those are the ones that you, you hear about. Aurora Cannabis, Canopy Growth, Afria, Organigram, Medical Marijuana, uh, American, American Medical Marijuana, AMMJ, or uh, M. JNA or MMJ, you're going to see all these, you know, WEED, uh, CBD, you're going to see all these t symbols, but just remember, the ones that look cheap, yeah, it, it, it may seem like, yeah, you know, th these are trading at 20 cents, 80 cents on the dollar, these are trading at, you know, two, you know, uh, maybe like 50 cents. But you want to go with the ones that are, you know, $8, $7. Uh, Aurora Cannabis is at $3 right now. You want to jump in. I'm just saying that, you know, when you search the top five 
Canadian or top five Canadian medical marijuana companies or top five pot stocks or top ten pot stocks, um, look to the Canadian ones and get in before it's it, it's too late, before it goes up to eighty dollars, you know, two hundred dollars a stock. You know, ten dollars right now compared to two hundred dollars later later, hundred and fifty. That's what the that's what the pros are saying. That's what the researchers says are saying. That this is the most important thing in, I mean, since, I mean, we, we, we've all had our, you know, the gold rushes and we all have these, like, kind of like these waves. And right now the way, you know, the internet wave, the, um, the app wave, you know what I mean? Uh, the virtual reality wave that went bust back a couple decades ago, it's now coming back again. And I think that that's also a good wave to get in on, but I, I, I've never spoken on that too heavy. But imagine virtual reality bars or virtual reality, um, you know, vacation centers, you know, virtual reality, uh, childhood memories, whatever, whatever. The, the, it's, it's endless. So that's another big uh, wave that's, that's going to take off. It should be very uh, lucrative. But right now, what that is, I'm focusing on that marijuana because why? It's such a versatile plant, that hemp, that marijuana is incredible. It saves lives. It calms the brain. It um, stabilizes the nervous system in general. You know, I mean, you know, the clean weed, you know? Um, so, I mean, we, we, we hear reports of girls with seizures or, or little children with seizures and they... They have this oil, this this cannabinoid oil, and they, they 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 feel better. No more seizures, you know, or like one seizure like a month, as opposed to like eight a day. You know what I mean? So it's fi It's it's high time that this technology, this plant, and and what it can do, is open to the public, and Canada is going to be a, a a new Amsterdam. It's going to be a new Jamaica. L listen to this. Canada is expected to retrieve about $2.2 billion the first year from cannabis alone, from the legalization of cannabis alone. $2.2 billion. Now, that's just a, an expected traje trajectory, but it could be less. It could be more. And you know what, At the more years that go on, the more money it'll be, be making. It'll be in your jeans. It'll be in your shirts and your hat. It'll be in your car. It'll be in your telescope bodies. It'll be in your maps. It'll be in your you know, basketball glass, backboard glass. It'll be in your toothpaste. It'll be in your toothbrush. Uh, it'll be in your, in your um, you know, dosages, you know administrations to, to get better, to feel better. It'll, it's just going to be absolutely everywhere. Hemp, everything. Cannabis, everything. So, you know, tw $22 billion, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind getting a slice of that. I, 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 wish, I wish money didn't exist at all and that we, we could have a better way, a better system that didn't put people in debt and make people resort to crime in order to, you know, sustain themselves but the fact is is that we do have money so what what's more realistic hope for money to just go away or um be know you're a good person in your heart okay and know that you're not going to sell out get the money and use it for uh a good cause okay that's that's where the real trick is they've they've They've, they've taught us that, like, if you want to be a good person and spiritual, you got to stay away from money. Like, Jesus said that the love of money was the root of all evil. And now we, like, stay away from it if we're good people. Well, you could be a good person, have a lot of wealth, and give a lot of, your, of yourself or your accomplishments and uh, accruements and acquisitions to people. You know what I mean? And, and just share the wealth. You know what I mean? That's the difference. When, when good people have money... They don't seem rich. You don't need money to be rich. You don't need money to be happy. But we can use it to make a lot of people happy. Let's not, let's not, let's not, you know, let's not kid ourselves here. If I had a million dollars right now 
Don't you think that a big portion of that would go to building roads in third world countries? I mean, not not like a huge campaign thing, not televised. It's just, you know, I'm a millionaire. I'm taking a trip to the Vumba Mountains in Zimbabwe. And up on the way, I, I traveled uh, to Mozambique and, uh, and then I, I stayed there. Then I went to Malawi, you know, which is like the least developed country, one of the least developed countries in, in Africa, one of the poorest countries in the world. And uh, get some construction crews together and just start building some roads. Nobody, nobody's got to really know. It doesn't got to be a public thing. It's just it goes down. And that helps people. That helps the world move. When you have people accessing things easier, that means that people have easier access to things that making you have easier access to things. The whole system works better when we're all together and we're all networked uh, and we just need to be free from, from it. So, you know, if, if you feel like you're a good person and you feel like making some money and, and, and doing something good with it, invest in cannabis, in, ca- in, in Canadian cannabis companies. Invest in the ones that are solid, that are, you know, invest in, ones that, invest in the ones that are solid, invest in the ones that are, make it, that are gonna make it through the storm. All right, this is Masterpiece. I love y'all. Peace, power, and protection. All right, y'all.